So, um, is that your lunch? Snack, lunch, yep. You don't eat clean? No, I don't believe in eating clean. I eat, I clean, I like eating dirty. I eat fats, <laughs> sugars, salts. Those are things that you need to get big to be strong. Yeah, but that's all chemicals. Like, well, what about fruits and vegetables and stuff? Well, I eat some of that, but not much. And what uh, about the boys? Same thing. The boys, we believe in eating a lot of red meat, the main source of protein, a lot of sugar, a lot of salt. Sugar? Salt? Yes. How could that possibly be good and healthy? Well, here's the thing. If you listen to all these idiots who tell you, when I was a kid, they told us that eggs were bad for you. And this went on for three years. Then all of a sudden, there's billboards going up saying, eggs are off the hook. Eggs are good for you. These dummies don't know what they're talking about. Yeah, but there never in a million years is going to come a study that says sugar and salt is good for you. Oh, the studies out now about salt. Salt is real good, most important mineral. If you... Let's say you get injured. And you go to therapy. First thing they're going to tell you when you leave is make sure you hydrate. Because the water retention helps your muscles heal and your body heal. What, re what retains the water? The sodium. The sodium is the most important thing. And sugar is important because in order for the, the protein to get into the muscle, it must have a transportation system, which is sugar. It attaches itself to glucose and sugar, and then it can, and only then, it can get into the muscle cells, the protein. So if you eliminate that, you're, you're, you're making a mistake. Yes, carbohydrates convert into to, to sugars in your body. But I want to make sure my sons are eating enough sugar. I don't want to leave any stones unturned. If they eat or drink too much, it can, they can pass it through them. So we want maximum of everything. When I was a bodybuilder, see, I'm in a special, special sport. Because it was subjective, it was visual. What, what do I mean? In order for me to win the Mr. Universe, I had to look good. If you don't look good, you don't win. So, let's say prior to the show, my body weight was like 253, 253 pounds. This is like six, eight months prior to the show. I could bench press 600 pounds. I could take, uh, I could do 10 reps with 500 pounds. I could squat 600 pounds all the way to the ground. Not the squats these fools are doing today. I'm talking about real man squats. When I went on a diet, we had to eat clean. Fish, chicken, vegetables, to burn body fat, to get lean. And also we had to go on a very low, not a lot of water because we want to get dry to look real defined. But what happens? I can't bench press 600 pounds anymore. My body weight goes down to maybe 243, 239. I'm not benching 600 pounds anymore. I'm not doing 10 reps with uh, five plates. I'm not doing that anymore. Those days are gone because I lost too much weight. So when you eat clean, trust me, you're gonna lose weight. You're gonna lose power. You're gonna lose. You're gonna lose strength. Trust me, I'm a bodybuilder, so I know it. So guys who are playing football, basketball, baseball, you don't want to eat clean. That's the worst thing you can do. I know it's contrary to believe, but don't take my word for it. Test it. All this stuff I'm talking about is measurable. You measure it. Lies don't, uh, numbers, uh, numbers don't lie and lies don't figure. Just, just look at the numbers.